The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Husky! <laughs> the underdog king, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo League dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police stopped his dog team when he came to Pete Martin's camp on the way to Dawson. Hello, King. Hello, Sergeant Preston. Hello, Pete. I saw your camp fire smoke when I topped the hill back there. Mind if I join you for the night? Glad to see you, Sergeant. Just in time for some food. Throw some more beans in the pan. Go on your way to Dawson? Yep. Got a fine load of furs to take in this trip. Good. We can go in together. Mmm, those beans smell good. I'll feed my dogs and get them set for the night. Sergeant, look. Over there in the trees. Is that a wolf? Where? Just over beside those bushes. I think I'll take a shot at it. Wait a minute, please. Don't shoot. That looks like a dog. Quiet, King. Here, boy. Here. Give me a piece of that frozen fish, Pete. Sure. Here you are. Maybe we can get him out here where we can see him. I'll throw this to him. It's a dog, all right. Yeah, it's a big German shepherd. He's a beauty. Must have smelled my food cooking. <laughs> Look at him wolf down that fish. He's hungry, all right. Say, I wonder if he's Ben Andrews' dog. Ben has one like that. Who's Ben Andrews? Well, he's an old prospector. Been around here a long time. Well, I wonder if he's in trouble. That dog's acting rather strangely. Well, seems as if he wants us to follow, don't he? Yes. Guess I'll take King and trail him. Well, you better eat first. Well, there isn't much daylight left, Pete. I'll pack some food and take my first aid kit, just in case something's wrong. But he might lead you five or ten miles from here. Well, if it's more than a couple of miles, I'll come back and we'll follow his tracks in the morning. Uh, feed my dogs, will you, Pete? Come on, King. Uh, when do you think you'll be back, Sergeant? If something's happened to Ben, I'll make him comfortable and come back here tonight, if possible. The Maori and the lead dog, King, followed the gray form of the German shepherd through the gathering dust. Preston lost sight of him for a moment when they reached a wide creek about a mile from the camp. Oh, seems to have disappeared. Maybe you'll have to find him, King. <laughs> well, there he is, in front of that cave beside the creek. Stay here, King. Lie down, boy. <laughs> what is it, fella? What's in that cave? Is someone there? It's Sergeant Preston, Northwest Mounted. Are you hurt, man? Uh, I've been shot. It's dark in here. Wait. I'll make a fire. Your dog brought me here. Uh, good old Rex. I didn't think he'd run away. I didn't know where he went. Have you water? Well, here's some brandy. I'll get you some water right away. Uh, Let me have a look at that wound. You bleeding? No, I, it stopped. It's my shoulder. Yeah, I guess you'll be all right for a while. You better have some food before I fix it. I haven't eaten for two days. Was this an accident? No. Some men shot me. I... Uh, don't try and talk about it now. I'll stay here for the night. My lead dog's with me, and I'll write a note and send him back to my dog team. Pete Martin's there, and I'll tell him to bring both teams over here in the morning. Uh, that food sure tasted good. I feel a lot stronger. Tell me what happened. I think you're strong enough. Well, I've been prospecting around here for a long time. A little over a week ago, when the ice went out of the creek, I set up my camp. The only one I had to talk to was Rex here. Well, I panned for gold up and down the creek. I know you want your supper, Rex, but this is the last try. Maybe someday we'll hit it. Uh, well, it's 
gold. Gold. These nuggets. Big as my thumbnail. Next boy will reach. This is it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Sergeant, I, I was so excited that I'd done near busted a blood vessel. The first thing I done was stick my claim. Then I thought I'd better hide everything that showed I'd been camping here. I didn't want nobody to find anything that might start him panning gold while I was gone. So that's where all those tin cans came from. Yep. I put them all in here. I was just bringing in the last load when all of a sudden Rex begun to bark and growl. Hey, what's wrong, Rex? What's the matter? You better call that gun off, Grandpa. We might be tempted to take a shot at him. Yeah, quiet, Rex. Keep still, boy. I didn't see you two coming. We've been watching you from the top of the hill. You seem to be in a hurry. Hey, yes, I am. I was just pulling out. What you hiding everything for? Seems kind of funny to be toting a load of empty cans into a cave. Well, I was just cleaning up a little before I left. Ah, couldn't be that maybe you found some gold around here and didn't want nobody to suspect it. If I did, it's nobody's business. I've staked this property, so maybe you better get off it. Maybe you've staked it, but you ain't filed the claim yet. Now, Grandpa, shut that dog up. Uh, listen, you two. You better be moving along. I... You'll what? I got this rifle covering you tonight. Here, Jake, take this gold pan, go on down, see what's in that crick where he's sure. been working. Sure. You stay away from this claim of mine. You ain't no right shut here. Shut up, Grandpa. Or I'll let you have it. Sick him, Rex. Hey, hey, pull it. Hey, 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 hey. If, I, if I can just make the cave. Rex. Come here, Rex. Back here, fella. Back in this rock. You, you better not put your head in this cave. This dog will tear your throat open. I got a gun in here. Hey, what the hell? I was going to shoot Grandpa and his crutch up. And we didn't know I know it. Oh, quiet, boy. That claim of his was loaded with gold. We better finish him off. We can't get at him in there. But he's wounded. If we take his food and supplies, he's a goner anyway. Goodbye, Grandpa. We'll file a claim for you. And if you get hungry, try eating your dog. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Let's get going. Sergeant, I was losing lots of blood. I hung on to Rex. I knew they'd shoot him if he got out. They took all my food and left me with nothing. Well, Ben, it was a lucky thing you had Rex with you. Uh, don't I know it. If Rex hadn't jumped on him and put him off balance, he'd have killed me. That bullet went a little too high to do much damage. Did these men have a dog team? No, they, they're carrying the packs. Well, and they can't make very good time. It's a long way to Dawson. Pete Martin will bring my team here in the morning. I think I'll be able to get to Dawson by the time they do. You got a day and a half start. But they can't make very good time carrying heavy packs. You can come along slowly on Pete Martin's sled. I'll hold them in Dawson until you get there to identify them. Sergeant, if they get to Dawson first, how do you know them? There'll be hundreds of men there who look just like them. Yes, I've thought of that. I may not catch them on the trail. I think you're right, Sergeant. Then uh, you're going to have to let me borrow Rex. I imagine he'll be able to pick them out for me. Yeah, Rex will know him all right. He sunk his teeth in one of them. Now, you've talked enough for tonight. but I got some sleep. <laughs> well, here comes Pete Martin now, Ben. He certainly didn't lose any time getting here. I thought maybe he'd had trouble with two sleds. He has them hitched together. Hello, Pete. Hello, Sergeant. Hello, Hello. Hello there, King. Oh, hello, boy. Well, you brought him back here, didn't you? Good work. Had quite a time with your dog last night, Sergeant. Oh. Seemed to think you sent him after the team. <laughs> you want to round him right up and get them started last night? <laughs> well, when I send him for the team, that's what it does mean, usually. You got the note I tied to his collar, didn't you? Yes. Has uh, Ben hurt bad? He's all right now, but he was in bad shape when I got here. I want you to bring him to Dawson on your sled. Some claim jumpers tried to kill him. Kill him? I'll take my team and try to get to Dawson before they file Ben's claim. We'd better reload these sleds. I'll have to travel light.
Sergeant Preston, with his powerful dog team, took every shortcut he knew to Dawson City. Rex, old Ben's German shepherd, was on leash, tied to the sled, and went along beside it. The Mountie was tired as he pulled up in front of the claim office in Dawson. Looking! Come on, Rex. I guess you better come inside with King and me. Come on, King. Hello, Sergeant Preston. Oh, hello, Bill. Is that a new dog he got? Sure is a beauty. He belongs to a friend of mine. Well, uh, can I do anything for you, Sergeant? I wonder if you can tell me if you filed any claims around Wolf Creek in the last few days. Wolf Creek? I don't believe so, Sergeant. Just about where is it? Well, it's about five miles north of the Klondike River, 50 or 60 miles east of Dawson. No, don't believe any claim has been filed in that territory lately. Well, here's some papers I wish you'd keep, Bill. A friend of mine will be here in a day or so to file this claim. I'm afraid I'm going to have to spend the day right here in your office, Bill. I'm on the lookout for someone who's due to come in here sooner or later. Well, you look tired, Sergeant. Why don't you lie down on my cot in the back room and rest? I'll call you if you'll tell me what the man looks like. Well, that's the trouble. I don't know exactly. Uh, no, since I'd like to sleep, I guess I'll just sit here against the wall for the rest of the day. Lie down here beside me, Rags. King, here on the other side. <laughs> As the day wore on, man after man passed the Mountie's chair. The two dogs eyed them sleepily as they went by. Toward the end of the day, Preston awoke with a start as the leash holding Rex suddenly tightened on his wrist. The dog, a low growl rumbling in his throat, had risen suddenly as two men entered the office. Steady, Rex. Steady, boy. Hey, what's that dog of yours, Mountie? I have his leash. He doesn't seem to like you. Down, fellow. Back, boy. Hank, that looks like the dog. Shut up. Can't be. Yes, I'd better put this dog in the back room. Come on, fella. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea. He's an ugly brute. Anything I can do for you, boys? Yeah, we want to file a claim. Get in there, fella. You fellas strike it rich? Yeah, we had some good luck. Struck it just north the Klondike River. Did you uh, have any trouble? I notice your hand is bandaged. I know. I just cut it on a tin can. Are you sure it's not a dog bite? Uh, I told you, Hank. I'm going. I wouldn't try to leave if I were you. Watch him, King. Hey, what is this? You and your dog. I'm holding both of you on suspicion of attempted murder. Are you crazy? You just come in here to file a claim. If you're innocent, you can file it later. Right now, you're going with me to headquarters. Trip tire you, Ben? No, oh, I'm feeling pretty strong. He stood it fine, Sergeant. You know, we took it easy. You think you can walk back here and identify those men I'm holding? You're darn right I can, them blasted farmers. Good. Let me take your arm, Ben. Uh, take it easy now. Uh, Not so fast. Ah, here they are. Hey, the one's all right. They tried to kill me. That big one is the one who shot me. He's a lion. He's the one who tried to steal our claim. Shot him in self-defense. You can't prove a thing. It's his word against ours. You've changed your story, Hank. I asked you if you'd had any trouble, and you said no two days ago. Also, there was no sign of your camp when I was there. There wasn't any sign of his either. Oh, yes, there was. There were a lot of tin cans in the cave with Ben. How did you find him, anyway? We found him, and we found you with the help of his dog, Rex. He's the one who brought you to justice. You're both under arrest. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.